This is the book of Romans chapter um, 14, and the point is verse 5, and it reads, One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day alike. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. I want to start off by giving all praises, all honor, and all glory to God. Elohim, la Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba Hashem, Rachak, Rosh, 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 I want to say double honors to my apostles, the elders of the great millstone, teach and do real well. I want to say peace and salutations to the Akim, across the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so, now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akim and the Akwa, without the listening and learning, Lord willingly, this is edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad, the only land of other nations appearing like the other nations, but subscribe to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. It's your brother Yahweh Sapa, the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant. I want to meet you with another lesson through the Spirit and through the power of Yahweh Shemiah Shai. This lesson is in regards to, um, through the spirit, you know, we got a lot going on, um, in the world, you know, spiritually, um, physically, you know, and more is required, you know, that's the thing about the Lord, you know, um, you know, before the end of this thing, you're going to have men truly, you know, shine like gold, you know, because you got different men made of different, you know, you know, some made of wood, some stubble, some silver, some gold. You know, and that's the elect would be like and on to go, you know. But with that being said, um, through the spirit, I was just thinking, you know, times are, I believe it's the elder Amawan Gabar did a video about um, when all hell break loose, you know. And, um, you know, with that being said, because we're approaching those times, I mean, this thing could jump off at any day. You have to be fully persuaded in your own mind. Now, the, the Lord. I notice it's always doing things, you know what I mean? Like just recently something that happened um, as far as with me. Um, and I actually see how everything took place. And I know it was the will of the Lord, you know what I mean? I see each dynamic of how it was set up, you know, um, one thing, then another thing, and another thing. And, you know, at the end of the day, well, I'm going to just get a scripture. This is the book of um, Proverbs. His uh, mindset and etiquette is like extremely important in, in this thing, but you also got to understand the will of the Heavenly Father. You know, some things are just the will of the Most High. This is the book of um, Proverbs, chapter 3. I'm going to start at verse um, 5, which is the point. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, and with all thine heart. So, like it. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths you know uh, that's why king david was considered you know a man after the most high's heart because he always put yahweh shot first you know uh, and with these times we're coming in you're gonna have to be in that mindset you're gonna actually have to understand you know because i noticed something you know um and i was listening to a video video the elder um from um, North Carolina, the elder Ishiar and the elder Hawad um, did, because, you know, it's got a lot of murmuring, backbiting. Uh, to be honest, I could say, you know, if I'm going to be honest, I I was guilty of that, you know. Uh, you know, uh, and since I've repented, but, you know, nonetheless, you know, um, you got to understand this thing is not a joke. Me and need to understand what they're involved in. Um, but, you know, scriptures talk about, uh, you know, in the last days, how the times will be. And, you know, scriptures also say blessed to those when men will hate you and, 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 and revile you for righteousness sake, you know. Um, so, you know, recently I witnessed, you know, that demon vocab Malone um, pretty much pop up to, you know, the camp I was, you know, involved with. And, um you know, we didn't even know they was there, but yet still, through the spirit, I knew something was up. Brother had said something because it was like a weirdo walk past, and I'm like, it's demons out here, you know what I mean? Then we caught um, some individuals watching us. And long story short, you know, you got to question this man Motors. He had some individuals watching the camp that I'm a part of, or was a part of, and um, pretty much they never approached us. So what is your particular motive? What what are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, 
you know, that's like some snake in the grass, some, some, some secretive, um, you know, uh, just, you know, like, it, 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 you know, it, it, it was as if like, you, you, you know, um, what's the word? Um, can't think of the damn word, but point being, like I said, like, you know, scriptures talk about, um, things being done in secret going to come to the open. And that's like I said, again, the spirit is like the spirit had me lock on to these individuals watching us, you know? So like I said, again, I know that this man is not really through the spirit. I believe this man is not just coming to defend the gospel because like our elders said, our elders have dealt with this man. So why are you going to every city to deal with each camp? You know what I mean? And he brought a, a heavy demonic spirit with him. And I'm just going to say it if any other brother spoke on it. And to show you how spiritual it was, he came on the same day that the supposed assassination attempt of your boy DJ Trump. So if that, you know, which a lot of brothers, myself included, that looked like a psyop, you know. I've heard all different kind of information, but, you know, at the end of the day, this man supposedly got shot and he threw up the ball all fist, like, get the fuck out of here, you know what I mean? Like, and these people eating that shit up. So, like, he just looked like going, he going to be a shoe in for uh, this upcoming election. I don't mean it be all over the place, but, um, you know, this is the stage that the Most High Yahweh Shem is setting up because we about to come into that time of Jacob's trouble, you know. And these are all parts of the of a trying of your faith. It's the book of um, James, chapter one, and verse um, three. I'm gonna start at verse one. James, a servant of the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad, greetings. You know, I was just watching the video with, um, you know, the brother basically because vocab went to the brother, and you know the brother was cutting his ass up, but. I realize what vocab strength is, which is not really a strength, but he, you know, like that's how you know he's set up or in, in my opinion, just watching this makes me believe he's set up. This is an educated individual. So why are you, you should know how to debate properly, you know, yet and still he's, he coming with megaphones and talking over, you know, he acting like a child. So what are you trying to, I mean, we know he's trying to control the narrative, you know, person that says the most words, usually people seem think that that's the deepest person. You know what I mean? But like brother said, you literally have actually dealt with our elders. And I also seen how he disrespected the brother. You know, he would have never did that to the elders. I mean, he cutting the brother off in mid speech, you know, brother trying to prove a point, bring out a point. He cutting them off. That's demonotic tactics. Verse two, my brother encountered all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Because they, their trials and tribulations, their test, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. You know, because when you are going through things, it makes you have to actually meditate and rely on the scriptures, you know, because, you know, this thing isn't isn't just about um, regurgitating what we're learning. It's about actually living the scriptures. You know, this is the book of first Peter, chapter one, and verse seven. I'm going to start at verse six, wherein ye greatly rejoice through now, Salakia. So Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Verse 7, that the trial of your faith, because when you in this truth, you always going through something. Because that's the Lord, you know, it's like building a muscle. You're constantly tearing it down and building it back up. Where we're building our spiritual muscles. Verse 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of of Yahweh Mashiach, and I never paid attention to that scripture because I said, um, I forgot what that said, but it talks about how uh, you know, certain men were liking on a gold, silver, um, hay, stubble, wood. It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold. So, when you, you succeed and you're awarded, the most high is going to look at you more precious than gold, you know, and that's deep, you know. It's the book of first, um. Timothy chapter 6. And the point is verse 12, and it reads, fight the good fight of faith, you know, because that's what this is. This is a fight. It's a spiritual battle. You know, scripture talk about the um, weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but uh, mighty um, through this pulling down the strongholds. You know, this is, you know, Ephesians chapter 6 says, put on the whole armor of the most high, you know, and use the sword of salvation or Salakia, sword of the spirit, Salakia. Uh, 
So yeah, this this is actually a battle, you know. And you know that's why you have men, you know, in this battle with you. That, that's why you you know consider you know your brothers because these brothers is going through these spiritual trials with you. But I mean, don't be surprised if the Lord puts you in a position where you may have to be by yourself, and it could be for um doing something to offend the Lord or the body or the brother, or it could be just the will of the Lord. You know what I mean? You know, like. I'm really sitting back meditating on that whole situation, you know, and it's like when a certain situation happened and I didn't, I wasn't even aware of it. That's when I realized like, yeah, that was the will of the Lord. First Timothy chapter six and verse 12, fight the good fight of faith, lay hold unto eternal life. Where unto thou art also called and hast professed a good profession for many witnesses. So yes, because you know, if somebody watching, you know, your walk and your your fight, you know, we are in samples. You know, it's the book of Revelation, chapter three, and verse eleven, and it reads, "Behold, I come quickly." It says, "Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown." So in this truth, you know what I mean, don't lose what you got, you know what I mean, the faith that you built up uh, doing the will and the work of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. Because, again, these tests are about to get a lot harder. I seen that spiritually for my own self when that demon vocab came. And like I said, like brothers were saying, he light work, but, you know, in actuality, he is. Because, like I said, he's trying to, con I don't know what he's trying to do. I think he's building intel because, again, like the elders say, you're not going to convince nobody. So what does your purpose keep on coming out here? Because it's more to it. Like this nigga had like 12 cameras on, and you know, like little microphones and shit. This dude, the police. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 2. It's verse 27. Because if you hold on to it, you will receive a crown. This is the book of second, uh, Revelation, chapter 2, and verse 27. And he shall rule them with him. To lock it. No, uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth, keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power of the nations. So those that are actually able to overcome these different trials and tribulations, and, you know, basically will be put in a position of authority, you know what I mean? As the scripture said that we're going to be kings and priests of the earth. So with that being said, you know, can hold on to this truth and, and not be swayed, you know, you can't rule shit. So with that, when we end the lesson, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, and all glory to call Elohim, Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh, Shabbash, Rekha, Kodash, Rekha, Double honors to my apostles. Rule will, peace and salutations to the occupant across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so, not more so than ever. Shalom to the occupant, the aqua, that they listen and learning. Lord, willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say shalom. Till next time, I'm able to come another lesson. Shalom, shalom. And Quam Yashiro. Shalom.